Dr. Anmol, you have just uh, procured one of the most advanced uh, ultrasound uh, machines that exists in the world, produced by General Electric Corporation, United States of America. This is, uh, is Volusion E8. Yes. Could you tell us uh, how how far advanced this machine is as compared to the other ultrasound systems that exist? This is supposed to be the most advanced platform for 4D ultrasound in the world. GE as it is, is the pioneer of 4D ultrasound and this is the most advanced machine which they have made till date, which is available globally across the globe in any country. This is the highest machine, like the highest platform you can buy. There's nothing, there's nothing uh, like uh, superior for this machine, nothing better than this. Yeah, I know that uh, all, some years back Apollo Clinic got volumes on 730 and then Paris Hospital also followed. So, could you tell us uh, what is the difference between the earlier versions of Volusion and this? First of all, the earlier versions of the Volusion 730, they have been discarded, they have been discontinued throughout the world. They are only being sold in India at the moment and I think in China as well. And in India also, they are not promoting the machine much. They would only sell whatever orders they have. People who don't want to spend this kind of money because the cost of this machine is double than the Volusion 730. It's more than, it's, it's, it's in fact to be precise more than double. So people would, uh, who don't want to buy such an expensive equipment, they're still going with that. But that is in the phase out uh, uh, status at the moment. They're going to phase it out gradually, that's what G people have told me. They're gradually phasing out the volume on. So this is definitely a much better machine than that. There's no comparison. You can't compare these two products. So you can only compare an Apple to an Apple. You can't compare a volume on 730 to the E8 at all. Okay, and we know that uh, you know the black and white ultrasound machines from the Indian manufacturers, they are available for a couple of lakh rupees. Hmm. And equipments as advanced as this, they run into you know 50, 60, 70 lakhs of rupees. So, do you think uh, you can't charge uh, a very, very high price as compared to what the others are charging on simple machines? Mm. So, do you think it makes commercial sense, uh, or is it just because you want to deliver quality? It's only deliver quality. It depends what the kind of uh, work you want to uh, do and kind of quality you want to deliver. Because the kind of the better the equipment more precise is your diagnosis, you can pick up even the finest things which may be missed out on a regular scan. So that is why, and obviously I have like uh, worked in London for a couple of years, so I've always been used, I've, I've been used to working on the high, the most high profile machines, so I cannot, I basically don't like to function on the cheaper versions. Economically they are not viable because a person who's using a machine for 10 lakh rupees or if I use a machine for 60, 70 lakhs also in that case, I cannot charge higher than what he's charging. The pricing is the same, only thing is that we are paying we are paying a premium for the machine but we are delivering a much better quality so that is the first thing and secondly the pricing is a secondary issue altogether even though we have the best machine we can't increase the prices further because they are too we have to be competitive enough with them with the other players in the market the other doctors who are doing ultrasounds so and secondly i have a passion of doing good work so i would only like to work on a good machine if i don't see good results i am not happy to work okay uh, I have I've seen the healthcare market of Gurgaon evolve over the last 15 years till very recently a large number of patients when they were advised a level 2 ultrasound used to go to Delhi. I don't think with the availability of you know good radiologists and such uh, high end equipment in Gurgaon uh, that need of going to Delhi for a level 2 scan I think is uh, over and now they can. That's been over there are a lot of people in Gurgaon who are doing good work. So you have very good people around in Gurgaon, there are quite a few people whom I know who are doing good quality work. So going to Delhi is out of the question. Rest, if someone wants to go with their own choice, that's their call. Okay, and uh, a 4D ultrasound is typically gives you great advantages in doing, in finding the congenital anomalies. What are the other applications of such a high-end machine in uh, the other areas of scanning? You have a lot of extra things in this, like if you're doing a breast ultrasound, you have elastography in that. Then if you, uh, and all over, and even if you compare it to a black and white ultrasound, when you're doing a black and white ultrasound, a normal ultrasound of an abdomen or a pelvis or whatever you're doing, you get much more, it's a very high resolution, uh, it's a very fine tuned machine. So you get a cutting edge over all these things. And uh, secondly, 4D is basically, you know, 4D has an advantage in diagnostics of, uh, like diagnosing the congenital anomalies at 20 week level 2 scans. We, we overcome all that in the 2D ultrasound itself. 4D is mainly done if you want to see something in particular. If you have a like, if you have a doubt on the 2D scan, we go in for a 4D with our own choice. Otherwise, mostly all the patients now are very well aware. They're connected to the net, and they chat with their friends. So they want to have a 4D scan. They want a DVD made for the baby. They want to keep it as a memory for their child. So when the child grows up, he sees how I was when I was in the mother's womb, 
and secondly they want the dvds and they want to see 4d pictures so most li like like uh, the higher component of the um, higher proportion of people who want 4d ultrasound are only for cosmetic purpose and apart from that uh, like on a diagnostic level the advantages are uh, limited you know for diagnosis but it's more of uh, it's more for the people who like to have 4d scans and then when you make the 4d picture you see good results you like doing good work you know for your own satisfaction i also feel good doing that but in these machines you can do volumetric imaging which is otherwise possible on a ct scan yes you can you can so you can measure the volume because it captures yes. the data in yes. the three yes. dimensions okay and uh, i'm sure that because uh, you know lots of technology goes behind such high end machines so even the gray scale imaging would be far better than yes, the other uh, cheaper equipment definitely the gray scale imaging is very good it's 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 uh, my it's poles apart from the other machines and also 3d 4d has a great advantage on pelvic scans when you're doing the like at times you do a normal 2d scan you have patients coming in for second opinion they have a septal or biconvective uterus you can't see that on a 2d scan very clearly if you're doing a 4d you just get a straight you get the entire endometrial lining you get to know whether it's a normal uterus or it's a uh, it's a biconvective or a septal uterus so uh, basically the congenital malformation of the uterus are very well seen on a 4d scan a 3d and a 4d that has got a that's basically a very it's, that's basically a diagnostic tool for this kind of disease